let's hit it, Brian. What would you say are, are like just your top one right now thing that surprises investors the first time that they do a legal conforming suite? What's one of the biggest things that kind of jumps out at them as like, wow, we didn't know that and wish we'd known? I would say I, I'm just rethinking my kind of my order here of the, uh, I, I would say actually underestimating the cost mm. and the amount of work that is required and associated with actually building a legal basement suite. Yeah. It is yeah. a big, it's an undertaking. So ours and... was the first legal suite. I re, I think it went about $30,000 over budget because we made yeah. the mistake that you're saying don't do and we underestimated the cost right away. So generally speaking, and I know, um, you know, you have a course out that teaches us this kind of stuff, how to calculate all that, how to get all your quotes, all mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But generally speaking, what are we looking at for suite costs? Mm -hmm. and is it by region or how does that work? It will be different where wherever you go, you know, your geographical geograph location. Um, but a, a good, a general idea would be, I, I would say, because it is a wide range and there's lots of different factors and variables that can play into the cost of, of developing a legal basement suite. So I would say just roughly high level, $75 a square foot up to maybe $95 or more per square foot. Okay. So that can kind of give you an idea if if you have a thousand doll, uh, sorry, a thousand uh, a thousand square foot basement, which typically a lot of these bungalows, we don't we don't actually want to go less than a thousand or uh, ten twenty five square feet because we want to fit a two bedroom suite. So in in say uh, uh, that gives us the room to fit a two bedroom suite. So say in a thousand square foot or a ten fifty or eleven hundred square foot, that's anywhere you know seventy five eighty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So right there. I was talking to someone just the other day, a neighbor of mine, um, and they said they were going to put a suite in their basement and they figured they were going to put about 15 to $20,000 in. And I was yeah. like, and I, I talked to an investor the other day too, albeit a newer investor, but still, um, you know, saying like, oh, well, I did my personal residence for about 35 to 50, maybe 50 ish. Um, you know, but when we're doing legal suites, what's the difference in pricing? Because I know $15,000. You know, we put in about 25 yeah. in our personal home for my parents' suite. Um, what's different in a legal suite that makes it so much more expensive? What we call right there is the big three. What we call is the big three trades. So the big three installations, which is your plumbing and gas, your HVAC, and your electrical. Okay. So yeah. between those big three, we call them, those are your big three subcontractors that you're working with when you're building a suite. Now, right off the top, I mean, that's to be conservative and go lightly, that's 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Okay. Right there. There's, you know, um, easily, easily. So that's kind of what differentiates a yeah. legal suite is, is there's all the components that come with each one of those. Yeah. Big three. So yeah, that's the difference right there. So we can go from having a fifty thousand dollars suite put in, you know, you think kitchen, bathroom, all that kind of stuff, sure. But now all of a sudden we're jumping into having those three big trades and doing them properly and having everything permitted and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And that adds yeah. on thirty thousand dollars just right there. Yeah, to make it conforming and legalize it, you you have to meet code. There's the secondary suite code to follow. And uh, the inspectors are making sure, you know, with this going through permitting in the city, the inspectors are making sure those are up to code and that it is conforming to a legal basement. Absolutely. And that's what you need to get before you get what's called an occupancy permit before you can actually legally rent it out and have a tenant occupy the, the, unit, the, the suite. So an occupancy permit is not just for new builds like I thought it was for years. It also is for new um suites that have become legally conforming absolutely yes there's there's development permits involved there's building permits involved and the whole inspection process for it to become a legal secondary suite a legal basement suite yeah yeah okay so yeah. some surprises are cost absolutely some surprises are um you know having to do these you know multiple steps we know what they are but we think of 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 it as a simpler process so what else is a surprise brian that a lot of people end up learning the hard way so that that all kind of goes hand in hand with underestimating the cost of the suite and also going over budget 
Um, another one would be to underestimate, uh, sorry, to uh, overestimate the, what's called the ARV. So the after repaired value. So if we're going to project that when we're done our suite, it's going to be worth X amount of dollars and it comes in actually lower than that, that's a problem. Especially when you go over budget on your construction, now you have a compounding <laughs> compounding effect of going over budget and coming in under your ARV. And now all of a sudden your cost is at retail price and you can go off the street and buy that from the MLS. And what's the whole point of doing it?